drag, touch, drag, touch. Try to jog slowly forward as you're doing this so that you're not stopping in track. Drag, touch, keep going forward. Try and be a little bit wider, have your legs a little wider as you move forward. This is for the TV camera over here. Wide, what? And so that I don't want to get too close to the ball like this with my feet getting. I don't want my feet to be working close together. I want my, my legs to be wide. And stop there. Here's, so your right foot is better than your left. Normal. Same for me. But I have to force myself when I drag, instead of dragging and leaving my foot up in the air like this, I just want to pull across and step down. So pull, step, touch. Pull, step, touch. Pull, step, touch. Remember the dance rhythm? Pull, step, touch. Pull, step, touch. And in that speed, say those words to yourself and follow the words, because the words are correct. So I go, pull, step, touch. Pull step, step, pull step, step, pull step, step, pull step, step, pull step, step. Louder, Annie. Nice and loose, and then drag, step, touch. Drag, step, touch. Drag, step, touch. Feed yourself, left foot, has to be left foot. Drag, step, touch. That's it, step down and then two drags. Drag step. 
Here, watch, watch me. Just like this. Just on the right foot. You can only use the right foot to dribble. Very slowly. Just watch me first. I take a couple of touches and then I step over. And I'm now onto my left foot. Take a couple of touches. Touch Step over. Oh, I'm my right foot again. Look, this is my right foot. And I drag, whoop, drag, step. Oh, my left foot. Drag, step. That's my right foot. You're going to do this in about two minutes, like a pro. And go ahead and just drag the ball. Away from the balls, away from the bags. Come on, over here. And go ahead and drag the ball like that. Step over. Right, step over and then keep going, keep dribbling with the left foot. Just no no, just dribble around, dribble. Dribble only the left foot can dribble. Keep moving, and then the left foot's gonna drag and the right foot will step over. And drag, and now on your right foot dribble. Just dribble anywhere. Turn around and come back this way. And now you're gonna drag with the right foot. No, the left foot can't touch it. Left foot can't touch it. Only right. Now drag right foot. Drag the right foot and now step over left foot and now dribble with the left foot. Only the left foot dribbles. Keep moving and now drag the left foot and step over right foot. Drag, dribble right foot. Now dri drag right foot. Now step over left foot. Now dribble left foot. Aria, look, watch. Dribbling right foot very slowly. Very slowly, drag, step over. And now left foot dribble, left foot dribble, only the left foot, and then drag left, step right. And now right foot dribble, right foot dribble, drag right foot, step over left foot. These are things that, that we, um, we can put together uh, multiple moves uh, and turns. And it's known as freestyle. There's freestyle juggling and there's freestyle dribbling. And this is dribbling as opposed to running with the ball. Running with the ball is like blue cones, blue cones, do that a bit. Running with the ball is a skill, dribbling is a skill. They're environments, they're part of the game and they all fit together like jigsaw. But the more of these parts, the puzzle the kids have, the better the picture right. they end up with. So this is a little thing where you just get just really relaxed you just drag and step over dribble anywhere you like drag and step over and it's just getting used to getting familiar with the ball and the footwork and the balance and the timing balance timing and rhythm come on come on kiddo just dribble come on just relax pick one foot to dribble with and that foot's going to drag the ball you're going to step over with the other one there, now keep going. And drag it and step. Drag and step. Now, I want you to leave the ball alone. Follow me. Like this. Like this. Dribbling. And then drag. Now look at my leg. Look at my leg. Step. Just run with me. Ready? And one, two. One, two. Keep going. And then right. They do this big, big crossover. So it's and right, left. And left, right. Can you do that? Without the ball? No, I need to see you do it. You're doing it with the ball. No. So you'll be able to do it as soon as you can control your legs and the way you move. Right, left. And left, right. Pop, pop. Swing. Left, right. And right, left. Are you good? One, two. Swing those legs across each other. One, two. That's it. And much better. One, two. Yeah. That's better. Feel those legs going across each other. One, two. And then you say to yourself, say, 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 say this. Ready? Say, drag step. Drag step. Drag step. And drag step. And then try the right foot. Drag step. Drag step and then try the left foot. Drag step. And drag step. 
Now watch, now stop there and watch, because this is what you do. Dribble, 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 and then you go. One, two. One, two. Come, your ball. Slow dribble. Take a foot, start with the right foot then. Start dribbling right foot. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Go on, you can, you can run with it. Just dribble around with it and hit it. One, two. And dribble left foot. Go on, one, two. Drag step. And drag step. Dribble, dribble, drag step. down and move some of the, the obstructions in the, the process a couple of layers but I don't have to because she's now she's now disappeared into her own little learning room like a little, little dark room she's got and so she's in there trying to solve the problem and that's what we were talking about is like two or three percenters you just, you just feed them they, they go. Right. A huge chunk, unfortunately, um, won't progress as quickly. They can progress, but they won't. They'll find reasons and excuses not to. But then if you have, if you have uh, 30, between 30 and 50, this age, they teach each other, they challenge each other. They're like, Oh, look, oh, oh I can do it. Watch this, this is how you do it. Do that, and that's the way um, you grow. You, you, you've seen it in football, you see um, some of the best teams in the world, like Barcelona, for example, of late um, on the decline, essentially because of Leo Messi, mm -hmm. granted, but they had a squad of players. Uh, some of the, the, the this La Masia, the, the youth academy, is, is mm -hmm. cited, always cited for development reasons. But um, once in a while, you'll get a generation of players mm -hmm. at a club that will infuse right, each other, their their attitudes, their their um, commitments, their seriousness, their, right. their passions, and those kinds of uh, groups can have a huge impact on the game going through the youth system. Man United had it with, you know, the Neville's and the Beckham and right, all right. those, uh, right. and I'm leaving too many players out, Paul Scholes, Ferdinand. one of the greatest players of all time. Um, but, you know, United today, hello. Barcelona today, hello. Real Madrid have never really had a youth program, but then they're selling their coaching services around the world. That's marketing. That's right. not actual production. Right. And I get it, marketing is mm -hmm. very powerful, and there are obvious reasons, cha-ching, for that scenario, but um, when you have kids that will go out and do this, if, if I had 30 of her, she's six, just for the TV camera, she's six years old. If you had 30 kids like this at six years old, you'd be a serious contender in 10 years, in your region. And, and in Mongolia is what, 4 million people? Yes. 4 million yep. next to 1.4 billion? Um, China's, China's got every reason in the world to have, you know, uh, hard-hitting big-name teams. But do you see China topping the charts? I don't. And how much money have they thrown at it? It's about, they want instant results. Right. And it's, you can't, it's not possible. Right. I mean, if they had the same approach in China to um, to football as they do in music and gymnastics and other arts, then they would be a world leader. Right. But they, for some reason, don't have the same approach. It's um, 
it's the it's the, between a two and five year solution, and two to five years is not going to breed you a generation of quality. Mm -hmm. It's just not going to do it. And throwing all the money in the world, I'll take some. Right. You know, you want to give me like right. a couple of million a year? Right. Um, thanks very much, and in about two or three years, I'm I'm gone. Right. right. Why? Because I'm, I'm tanked up and I'm I'm set. Good right. luck with your program. Right. Because you, you're bringing people in right. who are not passionate about right. you know, achieving long-term right. results, right. the cultural difference. Right. This is culture happening right now. Right. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> that's, that's blah, 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 blah. No, it's, uh, it's very important. You know, this you know, story will be translated into Mongolian language and then so many people will be you know, the, the, uh, the listening to uh, what you have to say. Uh, and then, you know, there's just one story about the, the Chelsea player, Oscar, he used to play for the Chelsea, he's now in, in Guangzhou, uh, in, I think in, in China. Yes. But he is now eager to go back to Europe to play for free. So that's his, yes. <laughs> yes. you know, something he's, he's about the culture. He's probably made hundred million. Right. And, um, you know, money, money is fantastic, it does a lot for you, but how much is enough? Where, is there a line that says enough and then be, and you go past the past that line and it's like too much it's a where is that everyone has a different line right, right. Greed. Right. and for me as I, i've told you before football has taken me around the world it's changed my life mm. my family's life and um doing this uh, is, is this is what this is what football can do on a community sports field in the middle of a a pretty cool town um, and you're not from here and I'm not from here but here we are right. because of the ball right so it's true um, that's the power of the game right <laughs> that's what I wanted uh, to see you know girls you know practice uh, soccer and football and then you know get together it's, it's not about you know kicking the ball it's you know bringing the people together yeah and that's you know the idea yeah. behind it it's it's a it's a really it's an amazing social game um, culturally socially it's a fantastic unifier um, and you can see it obviously you can see it in many parts of the world my heritage being in England it's uh, it's amazing to watch these tiny towns who have just supporters in the thousands but they keep going back to those same games for that same club in that small town in a in a part of England that no one knows about but there they are they're still supporting the team lifelong supporters and they could they could throw that away and then buy their season ticket at one of the big clubs and sell out their community but they don't so everyone on TV around the world sees the Premier League maybe a couple of bits and pieces of the championship and then League One and League Two there's 92 pro clubs in England Right. 92. Right. Not 20. Yes. There's another 72 pro clubs. Uh, and the rest of the world doesn't know about them. Uh, but those clubs below below them, you have semi pro, and there's hundreds more semi pro all over England. And they have their own supporters. Right. So um, that's that's the that's the power of the, the cultural social phenomenon that football brings. That's great. And, um, and the amazing thing is. You know, to have a country like Mongolia right next to China, that was sandwiched between Russia and China. I mean, look at the Russian uh, national team. Under the old Soviet bloc, the Russians had a very powerful football program. Now, it's much less, less vigorous, less dynamic, less quality. Um, when I was growing up as a kid, I used to know uh, a lot of the Russian national team players because they were fantastic. Today, I think maybe the oligarchs got involved. He started paying everybody a ton of money, and now they're like, ah, I'll run, but not right now. And the Soviets used to be like this machine that was, they played some fantastic football, and they, um, they, they didn't win a World Cup, but they were always seriously competitive at the World Cups. Now it's like, hey, yeah, maybe you guys, they'll make I it. I want to be careful back here. This ball hurts a lot of it. Gotcha. I'm going to play. Okay. 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 okay.